Hey guys, welcome to Supreme Tennis. Today I just want to share a tip with you, a tip that I believe really could be a game changer if you aren't applying this already on your forehands and your backhands. So let's get straight into that tip and that is to build in the backswing. And you're probably wondering what do I actually mean by that? Well, what I'm going to do to help you understand exactly what I mean is break the stroke down into two parts. So I'm going to use my backhand here as an example. And the first part we're going to refer to is called the building phase or the loading phase. And that's when I turn my shoulders, set up for the shot and get my racket in position. So that's the building phase. The second part is, is the acceleration phase. So when I go into that forward swing, when I, when I accelerate into the ball and actually strike the ball. Now, if you want that effortless sort of power, if you want to start hitting heavier ground strokes, we're going to take the first part of the shot that I mentioned, so the building phase. And we always encourage players to, to prepare early, get in position early. And that is partly because we don't want you to hit the ball late, of course, but it's also essential because we want that first part of the stroke, the backswing to be smooth. We want it to be relaxed. And that is key in, in building momentum in the shot. So in other words, the backswing should never be rushed. And the more rushed it is, the less momentum you're gonna be able to build and the less racket head speed you're gonna be able to generate. And a really good test you can do yourselves just to really see the importance of this tip is to just do some shadow swings on the forehands or the backhands. Just do some shadow swings where that, that building phase is slow, it's smooth, it's relaxed, and you'll feel yourself building more momentum. And when you go into that forward swing, you'll feel you're able to generate a lot more racket head speed that way. Then again, if you do some shadow swings and you do the opposite, in that that back swing is rushed, you won't feel like you can get the same amount of power and pace going forwards. Anyway guys, that was today's tip to build in the backswing and just have a look at the pros because they definitely apply this concept as well. So I highly recommend that you go out on the court and try it too. And if you're one of those players who already has quite a rushed backswing, quite a rushed building phase, then you may struggle with the timing at the beginning. But once you get the hang of it, once you start to get the timing right, you're gonna see the difference and the impact that it can have on your ground strokes. As always, thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to show a thumbs up if you appreciate the content and maybe even subscribe if you find these videos useful. Take care, guys.